Vertigo's veins are large, bulging veins that are bringing blood inappropriately down to the leg. They should bring blood back to the heart with, through these series of valves, and when you have valves that don't function appropriately, blood can pull in the leg. The valves, or these veins actually will get large and bulging, and they can be easily seen underneath the skin and cause symptoms. Anybody can develop varicose veins. They are more often seen in women, especially women that have had children, women with a family history of varicose veins, uh, mom, dad, grandparents, it really doesn't matter. That family history is, is a predisposing factor. Uh, obesity can lead to it, and people that are on their feet a lot, people that, that work as a nurse or as a teacher oftentimes will get them. There's a full spectrum of symptoms that can occur with, with bad veins. It can start with mild symptoms like itching, burning, heaviness and fatigue, and it can progress to swelling, it can progress to pain, even to the point where you can get skin discoloration and ulceration. In addition to a physical exam, the evaluation for varicose veins includes a duplex ultrasound to look at the veins. And this is usually performed with the patients in a standing position uh, to evaluate the size of the veins as well as whether they're functioning or not. For the treatment of varicose veins, we start with compression therapy, which takes the form of a stocking that we want patients to wear for a minimum of three months. Um, compression stockings are really good at managing symptoms such as aching, fatigue, swelling, but it really does nothing to treat the underlying problem. After compression therapy, if people are still having symptoms, we offer office-based procedures that can be performed uh, as an outpatient. Um, these are procedures that are fairly quick and very user-friendly, so to speak, for the patients. The first treatment would be sclerotherapy, which is where a needle is placed into the vein, sometimes under ultrasound guidance, and a sclerosant or a detergent type material is placed into the vein to uh, damage the inside of the vein wall and get it to close off. That is usually a 10 minute procedure that um, can be performed in the middle even of somebody's working day. The other option we have for treating varicose veins is endovenous ablation, in which a catheter is placed within the vein that we are treating and the vein is closed using a thermal energy from the catheter. Um, this is an office procedure that takes about one hour to do start to finish. It is very well tolerated by patients and can be performed in the middle of their day if need be. Uh, and we expect that patients will need to wear compression stockings for a week after the procedure. There are some patients who have very large varicose veins along their legs that are really not best treated by an office procedure, but may be best managed in the operating room where the vein is physically removed. UBMC offers a lot of advantages. We're the largest academic vascular practice in the city and one of the largest in the country. We practice evidence-based medicine. We don't do procedures just to do them. We tailor our treatment options to the patient's needs.